Hey, we're Jag Mac, and we're hanging out with our bro Rob on Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here, Front Row Live Entertainment, reunited with my family, Jag Mac. It's been way too long, guys. How's it going? Oh, gosh. It's been a long time. We missed you, dude. We missed L.A. Seriously. It's been, what, like two years? It's been way too long. I think it's been longer no, than two years. I think, so. yeah, I think so. Well, we've been busy, man. We've been working. You've been working. You know, we're all trying to make it better. That's right. I said we've all been thriving. There you go. Yeah, exactly. In our own ways. Exactly. So, I mean, we're here, new single. Um, I was saying earlier, like for a second, I thought you guys moved to Florida, but I guess you guys are recording this new single, We Found Love. So, you know, talk to me a little bit about that recording process. So we actually recorded the song in South Florida. That's where we'd like to move one day. This is where we, I don't know, brings out the... Something. It brings out something it in us. So we... percent Spanish blood in us, that's for sure. So we were there last spring, spring of, um, or this early, the spring of 2021. And um, we created a bunch of songs, and this one spread, oh no, sp I was about to say spread love. <laughs> we found love. We, we have another song, Spread Love. Check that one out, too. We found love. We created this with a good friend of ours, Mike Molina, and Billy. we and Billy West. And it just, being in that tropical, like, element, it just kind of, we, we kind of collectively wanted a sound that, wow. <sighs> sound like that. Sound, yeah. It's kind of more of like a, if you, the original is more like an Afro beat, a little bit kind of vibe which we've never really done before. So uh, it's actually one of my <laughs> Island Boy, <laughs> no, no, Island Boy song. This trip, um, this trip in Miami really, um, we really found the Jagmax sound. So it's very universal sounding. So like each song is different in its own way. And like we touch on like, you know, like our Filipino side, like, I don't know, like you got that reggaeton vibe. And I feel like that's definitely what's in. What's that song? That gives me that vibe. What's the name of that song? But, um, but you know what? The goal was to go to Miami. We were like, okay, we're going to record like three songs. We came up with like how many? Like 10? So we were working. Okay. It was great. Okay. It was so I'm excited for a lot of music from Jack Mac. Okay. I've, you guys have been teasing with the singles lately. Um, I mean, and obviously they don't disappoint, but I want a full body of work. I, 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 I want to I put an album on and just drive like it is here in LA for like an hour and still be listening to Jag Mag, so. One of our, I mean, our fans have just been waiting and waiting and they've been so patient with us and we're so appreciative of that. But like, you guys, 2022, it's happening, okay? A full body of work, you get the full Jag Mag experience. Um, like sh my sister was talking about, every song is unique in its own way. We kind of touch on all cultures and all elements. So you, you'll get to see a lot for sure and hear a lot and digest it all and be like, wow, like that's, th that's an awesome album. I think so at least, <laughs> so. We definitely have more than enough for an album. Yeah. Uh, an album three. and some change, <laughs> definitely. Three. But we're super excited to yeah. release it. Yeah. We've, we, I don't know when was the last time we released an album. Gosh, it was before we were Jag Mac? <laughs> <laughs> was it? This will be our first official album as yeah. Jag Mac. Yeah. We've released yeah. EPs and all that kind of stuff, but this will be the full album. So is Mike Molina part of this whole like rec uh, recording process, the whole record? Um, you know, how different was it the experience this time around with him? Yeah, no, working with Mike and Billy was um, s such a blessing. We, we, again, we met down in South Florida and just kind of banged out record after record. And just working with them was so much fun because like they, they really understood how we worked together as a family dynamic. They'd be cre uh, creating the track, we'd be writing, like singing melodies, and it was just like a factory, just banging out song after the other. And um, it was just so much fun to work with them, man. And they, they would definitely listen to our input, like, hey, can we put that there? Like they were like, yeah, absolutely. Like they were listening to us as artists, and I thought that was really cool. They're honestly family. Last night we had burritos at like two in the morning. <laughs> Is that? Tacos, that Shoot. Tacos, shout out to you guys. <laughs> Good tacos. How did you step up your game this time around on this track? Me, oh, I, I stepped up. I think up I hear your voice a little more on this. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, man. Um, I think that we all we or all puber kinda... or puberty hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have facial hair yet. We're, we're working on that. No, but um, we all kind of stepped up with our writing. Uh -huh. So it used to be just like Alyssa and CJ were the main writers. But this past trip in Florida, we all stepped up. We all wrote this album together. That's why it means so much to us. Okay. But yeah, I mean, just keep on practicing, keep getting better. Puberty helped a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Puberty helped a lot. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whenever someone has like a squeak, we call that a puberty sniper. I don't know why. Like you heard me warming up and you heard that, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure, yeah. <laughs> Morning puberty. No, I'm still getting that? <laughs> still going through that. 
Yeah, yeah that's I why I, it's hard for me to get a lot of facial hair. I got <laughs> spots. No. <laughs> so I guess since you guys have since you guys have a youngin in the group, and I mean your voice is still kind of changing in a way. Did you find yourself? having to readjust the way that you sing or the ranges that you can hit because of these transitions with your vocals? You know what? I think I can sing higher now. Because, like, I can I can definitely go higher on falsetto. I'm not going to do it right now because, oh, my goodness, I didn't warm up, basically. But, um, yeah. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I think I got better. I thought what the question was. He can sing actually lower than most of us yeah. and higher than most of us. I can actually can't. I mean, I can sing high, but falsetto, I can't sing as high as him yeah. or He's a tenor for or sure. CJ or Gamay. I think I'm pretty sure I can't sing as high as them. So. Well, that's what's cool about our filming dynamic is that you know when one person can't hit a certain thing, we'll give it to somebody else who can, and that's how, kind of how we work together collectively as a group. You know, not one person is left out. Like everything just kind of fits in its perfect place. Right. As far as the writing process, since you guys got together for the first time to write together, like, what was that chemistry like? Like, because uh, I'm sure, like, between the two of you are used to doing it, like you mentioned, but you know, everybody else is not used to it. So, like, what was that learning process for the others? I mean, we all try to, you know, get each other's inputs, you know, all the time. Um, it, early on, like you said, it was just him and I at first, but now we we love getting energy from everyone and giving their giving their insight but me nowadays I kind of like all right this is too many melodies going on I need to go in another room <laughs> I still do that to this day but then you know I come back and we whatever doesn't work we'll figure out but <laughs> I still do that to this day no come on be real I'll be something like what about this she's like no 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 absolutely not not that and same with you. Same I already sent you. it to mastering it's already on iTunes it's already on Spotify you guys are good <laughs> usually whenever we write verses it's like the boys stay together and then the girls go in another room, and then Gabriel leaves with CJ and Jared to write a rap. Yeah. But um, this this past writing session was really amazing. Like we've had so many stories and, and experiences locked up, ready yeah, to write for this new yeah. this That's new true. album. Yeah. So you're yeah, gonna hear a lot of a lot of stuff. Personal, we had a lot, a lot to of, say. Yeah, for sure. I feel like you'll definitely hear like a lot of like just just the, the personal stories about each of us, relationships. It's all kind of been put together in this body of work. Mm -hmm. So we're excited, man. That was actually. That was actually my next question because you know some of you are married, some of you have your own lives and stuff as well. So being able to kind of experience your separate lives away from your family and your siblings, like, and then coming back together in the studio, like that must be like, I don't know. I feel like that must be overwhelming at the same time, like with all of these stories and experiences. That's very true, but we also work together. Don't forget, we still see each other every day. We have a martial arts school back home, so we're. Con I mean, we always stay in contact, whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, it is definitely a transition, but it's good to you know have your se separate space and be able to come back together and kind of. Um, re, uh, what's the right word? <laughs> Re-energize and then come back together as a group and figure it out. So. It is definitely different because like a lot of like her boyfriend lives in New Jersey, his girlfriend lives in Virginia. So I feel like you can do the long distance. Like you can make that work because like when we're here, like when we're. <laughs> when, <laughs> What conversation is she in? <laughs> now you get to see the truth. All right, no, most people don't understand. Saying, no, because you did you like, did you ask that question? I'm saying you were saying like because you have like your relationships, like you guys have your personal life. So I was like, so like your boyfriend's far away. You said to have your personal life. So I'm saying I was listening, but I, you know. That's what happens when you try to answer the questions? <laughs> I'm kidding. I think he was talking about more so our dynamic together as a group, as opposed to, you know what? Anyway. Anyways. Guys, I haven't eaten yet, so I think that's what it is. That, that island life coming from island to the city, like, throws you off. Girl, because you're an island girl. Now, aside from a single, you guys also have new management, and... I feel like that also is very important yeah. for you guys yeah. because you guys have so much, you guys have been releasing, releasing masterpieces on your own, but you need that right representation at the same time. Yeah. So uh, talk to me a little bit about, about this new management and like what was it about this new management that made you guys feel comfortable and like want to be part of the team? No, so um, a few years ago we did um, Arthur Ashe a tennis, the US Open tournament and um, we got to meet a whole bunch of other artists there and, and one of the artists were Echo Smith and we had always been a fan of Echo Smith. Like, 
like they're a group of you know family as well and um we've just we've just been fans of them so like when we got to meet them we're like oh my god this is so awesome and um we met their dad that same day too which we didn't know was their manager as well so fast forward to a few months ago um i got an email from jeffrey saying you know hey i write for echo smith like let's who's your manager let's let's talk and you know i I forwarded it to my mom because she's our manager, <laughs> momager, whatever you want to call it. And we just connected and he really understood us on, on a level that not many people can understand because he represents his children. And so he can understand and relate and wants to you know, make sure that his kids are getting the best of the best. And he wants that for us too. And we were just able to connect on such a, a deeper level that not many can relate to. And um, he really sees the vision. He really believes in us. Um, he was just at our show the other day and he's just like, we need to, we just need to go. Like, we just need to put you guys out there. And um, we really truly believe that he could be the one to do that for us. And we're so happy and so blessed to have him in our lives. And I believe, like, I feel like you guys have everything that you need. You just need that extra push to kind of yeah. get those shows to get that kind of attention. Because, I mean, I don't know what else is missing with Jagmac other than a major tour and a uh, debut album and, uh, <laughs> and a sibling. Yeah, there we go. I feel like we need a TV show, really, also. Oh, okay. That would help. And once they see us and understand us, <laughs> do get to see the fighting, for real. No. But I don't know. I feel like that would be another cool experience to have, like maybe a TV a show or something. Avenue to explore for sure a TV show, but you'll definitely get to see Jag Mac at its full full form. <laughs> well, I'm definitely looking forward to that, and 2022 is going to be a great year. Any chances of a new music video for this new single? Oh. What are we talking? So, I'm not sure. I, th I think there might be a Christmas video coming in the mix or a Christmas song. Like, hey, you never know. I'm just going to drop it. Hey. We're also going to do an acoustic video of this song, We Found Love, yes. like a professional video. So, you'll see that. I don't know if we're going to do a like an a actual real, music video. Yeah, a real video video, 2022. All right. Top of 2022. Now, head over and check out Motivation. That video is hey. sick. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me once again. I'm reunited with Jag Mac. And uh, be sure to subscribe and follow them. And uh, thanks for watching. Man, we love you guys. Woo!